Hello YouTube and welcome back to Choctopia. Alright, so I got destroyed. <laughs> We're gonna do another inlaid library. We're gonna do Antonio again. Um this time I'm going to maybe try to do a little bit better. I think I wanna try it on hyper, but maybe like don't do it on the hardest difficulty on inverse. We'll see. Overall area con continuously changes between negative 25% and plus 25% over 10 seconds. The character starts gaining plus 1% area every level. Let's do it. Dude, I hate that little, that guy. Okay, so... Let's do lightning ring to start. Lightning ring I'll enjoy a lot. Let's do level two on the whip. Um I was saying before these guys remind me of the um the weird little guy. Uh, I guess we'll do magic one. The 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 big guy from uh Night at the Museum. The Dum Dum. Dum Dum give me gum gum. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in so long. Uh, yeah, let's do Vento Sacro again. Okay. These guys are... It's easy to start out. Like, it's it's definitely, like, an easy beginning start in this game. Especially when you're on easier difficulty. Yeah, Robin Williams was in that, too. We were just talking about him. He's one of my heroes. I love his... His, uh live at the Apollo no it was live at um I can't remember it's one of my favorite stand-up specials though I absolutely love it I haven't seen it in many years but it was amazing hello how you doing it's the most famous stage ever Broadway live on Broadway It's hard to like do this and like try to say hi and like also trying to play and think and doing a million things at once and then also trying to entertain while recording and <laughs> I'm having a stroke. <laughs> um I'm okay. Hirsch.exe has in fact stopped responding. <laughs> Very true. Don't devour yourself. <laughs> I, apparently I'm not the one stroking out, it's you. Always out for blood. We'll do another level on whip. It's working out well. Yeah, this is a nice build. Like, so far, so good. Um, I didn't do inverse, which makes this level easier. I probably should have done inverse again, just to see if I could get it going but I was playing around with editing today you guys will see that later with the terrible audio and all but that's okay oh watch me whip oh, watch me nay nay better than I whip my hair back and forth <laughs> Dude, Will Smith be taking L's, man. Did you see, like, he responded to the Chris Rock thing? Even though, like, the Chris Rock comedy special wasn't very good. Like, he just took a straight-up L again by being like, Boo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. 
Chris Rock made fun of me on stage because that's his job. Like, shut up. Let's do... Um, I do like Rune Tracer, but... I don't know. I'm just going to do Magic Wand. Part of me wants to go for guns. What level up? What level are we on? Okay, we're almost full levels on uh, the whip. Ooh. Yeah, I want that whip, but you know what? We need to grab that gun. Perfect. We're not even... I just realized it doesn't matter if we pick that up right now. We don't have the heart. Yeah, we, we still have a lot to grab. <laughs> We need the other gun. We need the Chirigasu. I thought that was the other gun. I was tripping myself out. <laughs> Doing okay. What do you think Brendan Fraser is going to do? Like, what do you think his next movie is going to be? Do you think he's going to do all, like, art house style films? Or do you think he's going to do more, like... I don't think he's going to do action roles necessarily, but... I'd like to see him in some new mainstream roles. That'd be cool. Although, everybody's saying, like, the industry's screwed. I'm a mature adult. <laughs> okay. The little skeleton warriors that hold their their heads as their shields pretty cool that's a cool design is that like has that been done before or is that like a you think this that's unique to this game it had to have been done before uh i don't know if we'll see another mummy i think that's unlikely throw up his pancake bra <laughs> um I don't know. Like, I want to say yes, but I'm afraid to screw it up for your mom because she has surgery tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want them to be like, we can't perform this surgery because you had too much sugar, like, or some shit, you know? I don't know. I doubt that's going to happen, but you never fucking know. No, we have to grab the other gun. Okay. These green booger blobs, they look like the stuff I've wiped I wiped on the carpet when I was like 5 until I learned that that was bad and <laughs> you shouldn't do that. I actually specifically because of you, I have the stuff that would make you stroke out in this game turned off. I specifically turned that stuff off. My mom got a colonoscopy on Friday and she's on liquids now and I almost feel bad that I made a cake that smells amazing. Almost. I don't. I don't feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad for, um, Allie's mom. But that's because Allie's mom is a sweetheart and deserves the world. And she's like my mom pretty much. Yes, exactly. Allie's mom is pretty much, like, I consider her a mom. Like, she's pretty much, like, if she could, if she would adopt me, I would, well, no, because I love my mom, but, like, other than my mom, I consider her a mom. Like, she is, she is absolutely close to... She wants to know what kind of cheap crap you want. Know? 
Now you know why I love her mom. <laughs> All right. Dude, these dudes are melting. So this is another thing checked off the list. I probably shouldn't speak too soon, but... We are doing well. The homicidal peas, yeah. More like the homicidal boogers. Homicidal broccoli. And there's the little lion heads. And the Medusa heads. We're not getting anything we need here. I'm a snake. A sneaky little snake. There's so much that we still need. You fucking Brussels sprout. Get this one. This will give heat damage when we get the red gun. Fire damage. Burning damage? I don't know, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Whatever. Oh fucking Brussels sprout. Do I have a uh, a chest over here? I think I have a chest over here. I can look actually. I should be able to look. Lots of level ups. Lots and lots of level ups. I do in fact have a chest, but it's a while back, so we're just gonna be Moving and grooving our way back. To the chesty. Mmm, chesty. I have a chest over here. You do. <laughs> I'm spoiled for choice of chests right now. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that's fine. That's a good one, too, I guess. It wasn't the one I wanted, but I'll take it. <laughs> um, no. We don't want any of these. Sure, we could take Corona's box. Corona's box almost sounds dirty. This is when I usually say, Por que no los dos? Por que no los dos? Why not both? Por que no los dos? <laughs> All right, we got the uh, Thunder Loop. Do you guys do you guys follow the Poly Couple? I watch their stuff on YouTube, and they're they're great. Um, some of their stuff, some people consider like a little um, like I don't want to say toxic, but like controversial. No mas pantalones, viva la naked. I do like being naked. So we are at 14 minutes on this run. There we go. Hydrate. I've been hydrating. Okay, so we're going to need something to go along with another weapon. I don't know. I think we're going to skip for now because I just don't know what to grab. All right. I think we should grab the attract orb because then we can get yeah we're gonna grab the attract orb I hope that you get more okay we got the whip oh yeah you posted that video that's awesome no nay nay no nay nay yet 
the nay nay comes when I combine the two whips. And then it'll nay nay the heck out of all y'all. Okay. Um. Let me finish this run and then we'll end and then you can call me. This run is, it's got, it's gonna end. So we're at 16 minutes. It ends at 30. Okay. Oh, we got another one over there. Yep. Absolutely mowing them down and getting way too many level ups at a. Okay. There we go. Check this out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's easy street from here. So now we just kind of got to talk and make banter and have fun. Look at everybody just absolutely getting destroyed. Oh, so easy. Okay. I am enjoying this. Almost got Santa water leveled up. So I need to get... We have uh, one more weapon evolution. Which we'll get right now. There's the another the last weapon over here. So this is the last whip. That thing going around me right now. Okay. So now we have to figure out what combines with Torona's box. Oh, or we could do the cat. We could do the cat. I don't see Torona's box. Yeah, we'll do the cat. Okay, if we can get the cat, then that'll be what we do. Because I don't see Torona's... I don't see the weapon that goes with Torona's box for whatever reason. I swore there was one that went with Torona's box, but... Hey, let's see. Do we have enough rerolls to get it? We do, in fact, have enough rerolls to get it. There we go. We got the cat. Absolute chaos. Pure, pure chaos. Alright. We got a few more levels and then we're good there. Two more levels. One more level. Almost died. <laughs> Really? Santa water? Oh, we still had to do Santa water. Okay. So we have one more weapon to level up still. There it is. 
All right, there's the cat's eye. Vicious hunger. It's all leveled up. All right, now it's just a waiting game. We got to wait uh, nine minutes and then it's over. And that'll be another one down. This is fun. <laughs> I do like this run. I like this run a lot. Um, I enjoyed like playing around with the weapons a bit more being a little bit more free with them instead of having to like plan out too much. It's fun. It's fun to like plan out like what you're going to pick, but it's also fun to just go in with like a crazy, just pick whatever and just see what comes out, you know? It's fun to just like mess around. Oh, we got the little witches. Every time I see them, I don't know why, but I think of um, Kiki's delivery service, even though they're white and Kiki is not like pure gold, pure snow white like these ones are. I absolutely love uh, Studio Ghibli films. I love Princess Mononoke. I haven't seen it in a while, but it's a really good film. Really good film about like our effect on the world and like the destruction of our own world. Ponyo is very good. I don't, I haven't seen Totoro, believe it or not. I really do need to see Totoro. Our neighbor Totoro. Ponyo is amazing. How's Moving Castle is, ama is amazing. Um, there's so many. There's some really old ones that don't get as much recon recognition. You know what I haven't seen since I was a really young was Akira. It's not a Studio Ghibli film, but Akira is amazing. It's such a good anime film. You're a big Miyazaki fan? Yeah. Akira! Cowboy Bebop's also, like, just really good. Trigun's really good. I heard the new Trigun's actually pretty good, but I haven't seen it. So I'd have to, like, judge for myself to see if it's actually any good. It's weird watching those, um... Like... Watching like Cowboy Bebop and stuff like that, it's so interesting because you get to see like how artsy they were back in the day. They like had so much influence over like today's art house films. Um, you can see like how much influence they had over today's art house films. You see a lot of the stuff you see in like old school anime in stuff you see in like um like indie films now even some of the framing and the shot work it's it's really interesting like i was showing you um it's not anime but like um heavy metal heavy metal that um that God, uh, the fifth element ba was based off of heavy metal. Are we gonna survive? Are we gonna make it? Or are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? Uh, take your bets here. Take your bets. Are we gonna die right at the end? We've got another less than four minutes now. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Are we gonna die right at three minutes and 30 seconds or are we gonna make it? What do you think, guys? I mean, they're not even scratching us right now, but it could happen, you know? We could get bombarded, like, right now.
<laughs> rabbit hole activated. Yeah, I, I get the ADHD rabbit hole gets me every time. Three minutes left. You gonna get me, lady? Nope. You are sure not gonna get me. Come on. Make it a challenge. It's my fault for not making it inverse. <laughs> Look at that. Less than two minutes. This is where we get dogpiled right here. Come on, dogpile me. Let's go. A lot of times what will happen is you have so much going on that the boss will sneak up on you. But it's not happening yet. <sighs> oh, here it goes. Look, they're starting to crowd me now. Okay, so... Just to warn you, we are gonna die right at the end, but it's it's gonna happen on purpose. We die at 30 minutes, the the Reaper comes and kills us. Because that's how you end the game. There's a way to like get past it, but it's still a one run either way. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, there's the Reaper. And we died. Oh no. We could revive, but we get 600 cash if we cash in the leftover revive. So let's do that. So we beat that one. That's a beat stage. Let's look at it. There it is, inlaid library, beaten. With Antonio. And then we gotta do Dairy Plant, Gala Tower, we just gotta do so on and so forth. Okay. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you like the video, please like the video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye!